Well, I really wasn't sure about showing this vlog, apart from the fact it's been sat on my hard drive for far too long, because I forgot about it. But I do recall saying I would show you the good, the bad and the ugly. I'm not overly happy with the images that I took, but it is somewhere I will return to over the winter months, because I know what I can do better. So I will leave you guys and girls to make up your own mind. Oh, what an absolutely beautiful morning. I checked the weather forecast last night and it looked like we could get mist. So I thought it would be well worth taking a nip out at daft o'clock and I've seen this place on several occasions I've driven past here and I've always thought the mist tends to lie what a wonderful place this could be to get an image there's lots of trees in the distance and that was really what I was aiming for, but the mist at the moment is that thick <laughs> that I can't see any trees at all. I was hoping to use the long lens to pick out the odd one or two trees with the dawn glow coming up. So failing that, I thought, well, let's have a quick look at what we can do with this little river. Now I have no idea what this river is called, so I'm not even going to pretend that I know. I'm going to try and put my filters in straight without cockling them. Oh, first world problems. And I'm putting in a reverse grad. I'm not actually sure I need the six stop. Let's just try and expose with that. The water is fairly calm. The trees yeah, I don't need, I'm on F14 and that's giving me 0.5 of a second, or a fifth of a second should I say. I'm not quite happy with that composition. Let me zoom in a little bit. Although there is very little detail in the sky, other than the mist. The tree is just becoming visible that I'm aiming at. And on the left hand side of the image is a plume of smoke or steam that's coming up from a power station in the background. Now I don't know if the video is going to pick this up far distance can just see the sun beginning to break through. Once that breaks through, all this beautiful mist is going to disappear. I'm not 100% on that composition. But having got a straight image, I'm just going to pop the six stop in. I want a little bit of a longer exposure to see if we can catch that mist just drifting. 20 seconds should be about right. I've been trying to find a way into the fields but as yet I haven't managed it. It was a beautifully warm day yesterday so I figured that we would possibly get mist and this area is known for picking mist up. And I'm so glad I've come out. I'm going to have to come back here during the daytime and have a proper wander around and see what other compositions are available, what trees I can get to, how to get into some of these fields, or at least find a gateway that I can hang over. Because we're at the side of the road, as you've been able to tell with the traffic. Down here, there's a huge gully, which is full of water. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get over that to get to the gate or to get to the fence where I can then use it for a tree image. This is wonderful. 
even allowing for the traffic that's going behind, it really is the best way to start a Sunday morning. Now, this is going to be really short and sweet because the mist dissipates so quickly, I really don't know what other images I can get. I've seen this one, which I'm going to continue to take. The filters are starting, I think. Oh no, we're safe. I thought my filters were starting to mist up. Right, I'm going to go for a bit of a drive, see if I can find something else. As I say, the intention was to use the long lens to pick out details. And now the sun has risen a bit because when I drove along here, you couldn't see your hand in front of your face. I think we're a little bit better off now that the sun has come up. It's going to start burning through all that mist. Right, if I don't see you in a bit, I fail to get anything else and I'll catch up with you next Sunday. Short and sweet. Bye. I think I'm going to call this a drive-by shooting. <laughs> I went from the last location to another one that I've seen again a hundred hundred times and never really been happy with the results that I've got from it. And I thought this morning would be perfect because when I'd driven past it first thing this morning, the mist was lying over the floor and the focal point was standing up and the sunlight would have come in and caught the top of it perfectly. The fog had got that thick, you couldn't even see it. So I've carried on um, and I was just coming down a little lane to another spot that I'm aware of. And I spotted this. We've got the two lines where the tractor's been and at the end there is a row of four trees. Now I know in an ideal world it should be a row of three trees, but there's a band of mist behind the trees that's separating it from the little copse of trees that's behind it. And I thought that would make quite a good composition. It's very, very tight because there is a little bush and it just starts to encroach on the edge of this tree. Now this field, I believe, it looks like maybe corn or wheat. The sun is coming up, you're just about to get blinded, there. And it's currently, well, it's going to cast some beautiful light on the foreground. In fact, it's doing it now, so I'm going to have to be really quick and shut up. The light is changing all the time. The sun is becoming to come through stronger. It's burning through the mist. But there's still just enough separation between the copse of four trees and the, the big copse at the back. And I'm having to do a focus stack. Firstly, I'm focusing as close to the front of this as I can get. Then I'm focusing about, mm, about half the way in. And then I'm focusing actually on the trees. I'm on the 70 to 200. I'm actually at about 180, maybe 175 mil. I'm on ISO 14 and I'm getting 1 20th of a second. And that's changing all the time. The first shots I did were 1 10th of a second. And the light, it's, it's strange as you look at the images that you take, as you try different timings and you're at a different stage of the sun burning through, you can see the image come to life. It's not going to be the most startling image in the world, but I'm quite pleased with it. It's a very calm, serene image. So I'm just going to take one more shot because the band of mist that's separating the four trees from the copse behind is basically starting to disappear. So I can't get the separation between the four trees and the, the group at the back. So one more shot, and then we're done here. Well, you may remember, a little while ago, I put a shout out for you guys and girls, asking you to send me one of your favorite images, because I know there is a huge talent pool out there I follow some of you on Instagram, I've seen some of you on Flickr, I've seen some of you on Facebook, and your photos are amazing. So I thought it'd be nice to share some love back to you guys. Now the image I've chosen, and I apologise if I get your name or pronounce your name slightly wrong, Peter Oosterman has sent me 
the image that I'm about to show you, which is absolutely beautiful. And I really appreciate you sending it, Peter, because it takes me back to when I was there and brought back some wonderful memories. You got far better light than I did when I was there. It was gray and miserable and overcast. But this was Peter's first trip to Iceland. It was somewhere he'd always wanted to go, to be there, to see the iconic places, to immerse himself in the culture. And it is, it's an absolutely wonderful image. It's got beautiful light, just picking out the greenery on the sea stacks, the lovely black sand of the beach, lovely motion in the water as it's coming in, the white water contrasting nicely against the black sand. It really is a beautiful image, Peter. Thank you so much for sending it in. I'll pop it up on screen for you guys now. And that's it for today's drive-by shooting. I, I know I don't always wander for miles and miles, but this was ridiculous. It was literally two locations at the side of the road. And it's been great, but the mist and the fog has gone so quickly. It's still hanging around at the top, but I can't find anything that's particularly catching my eye. I have another couple of places in mind for the next time we get these conditions. So short and sweet, thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Bye!